Good morning friends. Many of my patients tell me, Sir, we want to do the implant, but how will be our erections? Will we have a normal sensation? Will we have normal ejaculation? I am Dr. Ashish Sabawal, urologist and urologist and robotic surgeon from New Delhi, India. In this video, I will give you full information on how penile implant works. So first of all, before we understand how the penile implant works, I will tell you what are the phases of a normal male sexual experience. So first of all, patients, they feel like having intercourse, their libido is normal, they get aroused. After arousal, blood flow into the penis increases, the penis becomes hard, you get an erection, the size of the penis increases, the glance size increases, the sensations in the glance come and when the sensations come to a height, then the orgasm happens and after orgasm, the ejaculation happens, that is the semen discharge. So these are all the phases of a normal sexual cycle. What the implant does is, that implant is a medical device which gives support to the penis, gives hardness to the penis. So after the implant, the penis will become hard. It is something like if you want to penetrate your finger during intercourse, you can do it because the finger has got bones in it and bones give hardness and the finger can be penetrated. Similarly, implant is put inside the penis which gives hardness to the penis and the penis can be penetrated without any problem. Now the other aspects about the sexual experience, for example, the glance shape, the glance size, the blood flow. The implant is put inside the penis and the blood vessels to the penis and the glands are not disturbed. So the blood flow to the glands, blood flow the, to the shaft of the penis are all maintained after the implant surgery. If you are having a natural erection before implant surgery, like in venous leakage patients, so that natural erection will maintain even after the surgery. But because of your severe blood vessel problem and arterial blockage, if you are not having any blood flow into the penis, you are not having any blood flow into the glands, then after implant surgery also this blood flow will not start. So implant surgery has not got anything to do with the blood supply. If it was normal before, it will stay normal. If it was not normal before, then it will not come back to normal. The next thing is the sensation. The glands has millions of nerve endings which give high sensation during intercourse. If there was no difference in the nerve endings in the finger or the glands, we could anyway penetrate the finger and have pleasure. But that does not happen. Only you get pleasure and orgasm and ejaculation when you put the penis because it has got millions of nerve endings on the glands. Now when we do the implant surgery, the implant is put from inside. We do not touch the glands. So the gland sensation and the natural feeling during intercourse are all maintained even after the implant. After that when you get the orgasm, that is the mind function, when you get height of stimulation, it is the mind which is stimulated for orgasm. So implant has nothing to do with the orgasm. After that the ejaculation also is also an action of the mind. If the mind is stimulated, you will get an orgasm and you will get ejaculation. So many patients think that if you have got early ejaculation, it will get alright with the implant. See, if you are suffering from erectile dysfunction, then after implant, early ejaculation can also get sorted out. The reason is because when you are having erectile dysfunction, you have to stimulate yourself more to get erection. And this stimulation causes early discharge. After implant, the penis hardness is already there, so you do not need that extra stimulation. And if you don't stimulate, then you will not get early ejaculation. Secondly, many patients are quite anxious that if they don't ejaculate quickly, their erection is going to fall down. So after implant, they are no longer anxious about this problem and they know that their erection will maintain because of the hardness of the implant. So that also gives a sense of relaxation to the mind and the early ejaculation time improves. The third thing about early discharge is that when you have an implant, even if you have an early ejaculation, your hardness maintains. It is not that the penis will become totally limp after the discharge. So because of the hardness, as long as your partner wants or you want, you can continue your intercourse. So all these things are indirect benefits of implant. So you will understand that the only direct benefit of an implant is that it gives hardness, it gives support to help in penetration during intercourse. The rest of the things, the gland shape, the sensation, the orgasm, the ejaculation, the libido, all these things have nothing to do with the implant. But yes, indirectly they will have some benefit. Also you have to understand that for a satisfactory intercourse, there are only two things which are important. Firstly, the understanding with the partner. If you are having good understanding with your partner, you can have a good intercourse. If you are having fights with the partner and there is 
disturbance between you and your partner in that case the implant will not help you you will not be able to have intercourse anyway the second important thing is the hardness if your understanding is very good but you don't get an erection you don't have hardness you will not be able to have intercourse so these are the only two things which will give a satisfactory intercourse one the understanding with the partner and the hardness of the penis so after the implant both the things happen and so you will be able to have a very satisfactory sexual intercourse with your partner after the penile implant surgery so friends in conclusion only the erectile function is taken care by the implant the rest of the things the arousal the libido the glance shape and blood supply the sensation the orgasm and the ejaculation all those things are more a thing of the individual a thing of the mind and implant might benefit in that or might not benefit in that if you are also thinking of penile implant surgery and you want to contact me then you can contact me on email or whatsapp my email address and whatsapp number are given in the description thank you